introduction about Tawheed, mm-hmm. Sheikh Salim. Mm-hmm. Um, of course, we know Tawheed is, uh, we can define it, oneness of Allah, but it's much more complex than that. <coughs> um, I once read an article by a non-Muslim who spent a, a lot of time around Muslims and interviewing them. She, she wasn't Muslim at that time. But she said, if you ask me one thing about Islam to describe it, I would say God-centered. And I thought she really got that right. That whatever else she understood about Islam, it wasn't architecture, it wasn't polygamy, it was, it was Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is at the center of everything. Unfortunately, uh, there's more to it than that. And uh, Tawheed is defined not just that we attribute to Allah, to Allah everything that is only attributable to Allah and not to anyone else, but also that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is the creator which makes him not the creation. So we find that many of, people, of mankind go astray on this particular issue, even many among the Muslim ummah, who try to imagine for themselves, try to fill in the blanks as it were. Whereas we as Muslims, we understand Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is beyond our comprehension, and that's why he sent messengers. I used to write a lot of programming in C language, and I look at the attributes of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as pointers. And see, we have pointers, all right? It's a number, but it points to a location. So every word that we have about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we have to take it as it is. But we cannot really interpret it or go beyond it or add anything to it. Because it's a word that we know, pointing to something that we cannot know. Or cannot know completely. And this is kind of, I think, the the final touch of Tawheed that many times uh, gets lost in many quarters. It's easy enough to say, you know, I believe in God. How many? I believe in one God. Is that Tawheed? Maybe. Maybe not. So there is a difference between to, to say it. So I believe in, in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a creator, as the one who deserves to be worshipped. Well, for example, you could ask some more questions. You said he's one. Okay. Uh, where is he? He's all of this. He's everything. The tree is Allah. The earth is Allah. Is this Tawheed? No. So as many scholars have said, everybody says one. But another issue of Tawheed is that separation. Mm-hmm. You cannot be the creator and the creation cannot be the same thing. No. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no beginning. Subhanahu. He has no end. The creation began at some point. Everybody agrees on that. It began at some point and it will end at some point. But Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has no such, no such attribute. So this, this is the, the separation is as important as the unity. Subhanahu wa ta'ala. شيخ عبد العزيز بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم <تصفيق> الحمد لله رب العالمين وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى اله وصحبه اجمعين اما بعد as uh, my brother here said that tawhid is defined as monotheism if we go to the dictionary but it's a lot lot more than this word and uh, he has explained many things and i would like to add to what he said instead of repeating what he just uh, listed here as attributes of a tawheed itself. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, فَمَنْ يُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ وَيَكْفُرْ بِالطَّاوُتِ فَمَنْ يَكْفُرْ بِالطَّاوُتِ وَيُؤْمِنْ بِاللَّهِ فَقَدْ إِسْتَمْسَكَ بِالْعُرْوَةِ الْبُثْرَةِ Now this is a condition. You cannot say that I believe in Allah or believe in God and stop. You have to reject and disbelieve in a ta'ut. What is a ta'ut? A ta'ut, anything else. Other than Allah, worship beside Allah. So here is the point here. Here's the key point here. Is to avoid any worship in any creation, no matter what it is, in order to really, really get the tawheed as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala have prescribed on us as followers or as human being or believers. Okay. Another thing You have to know Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And knowing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala by His signs, by His attributes, by His names, and by His creation also. Because if you look at the creation, and you look at how perfect this world, look at the sun, look at the moon, look at the wind, look at the clouds, the rain, and so on and so off. The perfection of this creation has to be, someone has to be behind that who is greater than this creation, the sun. Nobody can get near the sun. Now who created the sun has to be someone. 
and that is Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So believe in Allah, worship in Him alone, neglect or avoid anything other than Allah. People, they say, yes, we believe in God, but they worship the sun. They believe in God, they worship the fire. They worship Buddha, they worship idols, trees, and so on. That is not right. So believe in Allah, Allah's oneness, worship in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala alone, and believe in that He is the one and the only one who deserves to be worshipped.